Are you one of the many millions of people that suffer from chronic pain every day? Well, in this video, I wanna share with you how actually avoiding the pain can be one of the worst things you can do and how it can teach you to not avoid that pain. My name's Thomas Garbarino. Thank you for tuning in the channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get the notifications every week. This is a channel devoted towards holistic solutions, lifestyle changes, mindset adjustments that can really help you, especially those of you dealing with a chronic illness, get you on the healing journey and get your life back healthy, happy. Well, I'll do this together. Chronic pain, whatever it is, from migraines to stomach pains to heart pains, whatever it is, essentially, Pain is something that most of us, if you are human, have to deal with on a regular basis. Most of us, the natural reaction, at least it was for me, was when that pain was there, my instinct was to check out. My instinct was to avoid it. My instinct was to fill up the space, so to speak, of the moment so I didn't have to feel that pain. Because for me, I don't know if this resonates with you, all the pain medications didn't work for me. All the ibuprofens, I had exercised all those options to the point where they weren't working. Then it was really checking out, filling my space with Netflix or eating, even meditating, trying to find ways that would help me avoid the pain. It wasn't until I really saw the pattern and the pattern was that the more that I pushed myself away from the pain, the further the rebound effect that would happen to me where the pain would actually persist longer, in some cases more intense. But it wasn't until later that I figured out what happens instead of pushing that pain away, avoiding it, so to speak. What if I was able to welcome it? What if I was able to set aside all my fears, all my anxieties about what the pain could do, would do, and instead just allow it to be there simply as just another member of a part of my consciousness that existed? And what if I not only stopped avoiding it, but what if I welcomed it even more into my present reality. What would that be like? What started to happen as I gave space and attention to it, all of a sudden, I noticed that the pain would start to shift. It wouldn't go away, but it would start to shift. It would change, it would move, or it would lessen. And that got me more curious to explore this more. So then it was like, what happens if I give it even more attention or welcome it even more in my present awareness? And you know what started happening? As I sustained that longer and longer for periods of time, the pain started to lessen. And this like radically changed my idea of what pain was. Cause I don't know how you think of it, but for me, pain seemed to be like this fixed thing that was occurring because there was a blockage in my heart or in my head or somewhere else, something that was not working in my system. And the pain was the nerves that were firing, wiring for that, letting me know something was wrong. But once I started giving my full attention, all of a sudden those wires in my nervous system that would tell me pain and feel the pain, oh, they started to lessen and let go. Along with that, as I sustained that more and more, and I practiced that more and more whenever, because it wasn't just like when I was sitting and meditating, it was like when I was at the grocery store and a headache would come on. How do I presence that headache when I'm on the fly in my everyday living? And so I got really good at learning how to do that. And all it is, is essentially what I'm trying to say here, it's just a habit change in your thought process. Because most of us, when that initially happens, we get scared, we clamp down, we run away, right? Oh, or we have that emotional charge of like, I don't wanna feel this right now. That is the moment 
where you take the time to actually, okay, I feel that, that's okay. I don't wanna feel this right now. But what if I did feel it? And what if I made even more space inside my heart to feel it even more? Right there was the medicine. And this is what I'm encouraging you all to try out this week. So what it would feel like to just simply welcome it. You don't have to, you know, go further than just that. Like just get curious with what would happen if I welcomed it. What would change in that moment? So I encourage you now or after watching this, if you are suffering with pain in this moment, to just take a moment, relax your shoulders, take a deep breath, ground your body and then just ask yourself could I welcome this more into my space and what would happen if I allowed myself to welcome it even more and see what happens and let me know in the comment section below what happened for you I'm curious. I want to hear from you all. Stay tuned on this channel. There's going to be more things like this. And definitely go ahead below and grab your free healing meditation in there. This is like a guided meditation that will help you welcome even more of the parts inside you and the places in your body. Let me know what you think. Thank you for tuning in. Have a blessed rest of your day. Take good care. Bye now.